What's going on guys? This is my Spongebob fish tank setup. I've got the Spongebob pineapple. I've got Squidward and his house, but sadly I haven't been able to find a Spongebob yet. So I will be getting one soon. In here all I've got is the little bottom feeders. they got the white one and the two other gray ones. I've had them for a long time. I used to have a betta, but it died, so just have the bottom feeders for now. Have some plants in the background, some nice brown rocks, and a small filter. But my favorite accessory, which I just did today, I'm going to show you guys right now. It's from the pineapple. You guys are going to love it. Let me turn, let me turn off the lights real quick. That is awesome, right? Look at that. The pineapple just lights up orange. I love it. It's like a yellow orange. And you could put it in any color you want, basically. Red, green, blue, uh, lime green, orange, yellow, other shades of blue and red and pink and purple any color you want there's also a flashing mode a strobe mode you know there's different modes and that is awesome <laughs> it's like there's a little little disco party going on in uh, spongebob's house so and then there's uh, just the plain white but my favorite is the orange is that the one Wait a second. There you go. The dark orange because it, it just it looks the, the nicest. So in case you guys want to do this to your fish tank, I'm going to turn on the light so you guys can see better. In case you guys want to do that to your fish tank or to your SpongeBob house, uh, it's just a little, it's a little round thing that um, it's a, a pool, LED pool light that you get and you put it under the pool. It costs $16, I got it at Kmart, and uh, it takes AAA batteries, it's super, it's like this thin, all I did was like dig out a little bit the rocks, put it there, then put a few rocks over it, and the Spongebob house on top of it, but I think it looks really cool, so thanks for watching guys, hope this helped you, peace out guys. Mm -hmm.